Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Okay. Hello and welcome. My name is David Wilmer. Today we're going to be kicking off my videos on Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, my tutorial series. So today, just before we get to any of the tools, we're going to be looking at the layout, the overall layout of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So as you can see, we start in the home pane over here in the upper left corner and we start under recents. So as you might assume, this shows all the most recently accessed files. And over here you can see all these check boxes you can click on if you mouse over. I'll just click on one for example. And when you click on one, you can see that you can perform various actions, which we'll get into in our later videos in this series. You can perform various actions on this file. We can share it, we can send it for review, we can Adobe sign, edit it, export it, organize it, anything we wanna do really. These are some of the more commonly used uh, tools for common workflows and of course we can select multiple ones mm -hmm. like just like that and then at the bottom right corner you can see the clear recents button and this allows us to clear all the files from the recents and I'm a bit OCD so that's what I like to do so clear recents and yes okay up next under scans we have all the files that we have scanned either using a hooked up scanner to the computer or using the Adobe scans app for your mobile device of choice uh, moving on to the file section my computer pretty self-explanatory all the file directories in your computer that you've most recently accessed within Acrobat uh, document cloud any files and directories that are in your personal document cloud which is linked to your Adobe account and down here you have the option to add a storage account in addition to Adobe's own document cloud storage, you can integrate an existing storage account of yours. So you can use Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or SharePoint. Me personally, I have linked my own uh, Google Drive from college, and so I have that up there. So under the shared section, we can click on for viewing. So these are just documents that we have sent out to somebody where they can acknowledge receipt of the document, and that's it. Over in for review, these are documents that we've sent to a recipient and they can you know, acknowledge receipt, but they can also add comments, they can add drawings, underlines, scratch throughs, stuff like that. Good for some collaboration. And then for signature, these are documents that we've sent out to be signed by a recipient and to make any additional edits. And so these are all the things that are available in the home pane and just about all this functionality, the great thing about the layout of Acrobat Pro, just about all this functionality is available in other places, so, but you can access the same tools in many different places, which is what we're gonna do right here when we go into the tools pane. As you can see, every single tool is localized to this pane, but we can also see them in different areas. For instance, the create PDF tool, it's pretty clearly right over here, but if we go into the file menu, we can also see that the create PDF and all of its options are in this little dropdown right here, which is pretty handy. The tools, the tools are loosely organized based on their function. So create and edit, share and review, forms and signatures, protect and standardize, and customize tools. And so for each of these tools, underneath, underneath the icons, we have the option to add them to the right-hand side toolbar over here. Now, as you can see, I've added quite a bit already. So for instance, create PDF is already over here, so it defaults to open. But for a tool that isn't on the right-hand side, say combine files, we have the option to add it and it just pops up right over there. And the great thing about this is you can jump to all these tools. You can jump to all these tools from within other tools. You don't have to go back to the tools pane as a hub. You can just stick with this. So you can jump back and forth. Like for me, I use edit a lot and then jump in a prepare form a lot. This is probably my most favorite time-saving feature of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So yeah, that's how you get around. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time when we look, take a look at the first and most humble of tools, the Create PDF tool. Catch y'all later.